Hi everybody, hope you're having a great day. So it's time for some comparisons between the Mavic Mini, the Mavic 2 Pro, and the Mavic Air. And so today what I'd like to check out is three different variables. First of all, I'm gonna check the decibel levels and see how they compare to each other. Then I'm gonna check the return to home accuracy and see how close they get to coming back to where they launch from. And then finally, I'm gonna do some video footage comparisons. So let's get to it. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Russ and this is 50 Year On Drones. You know how it works. If you like what you see, click on that subscribe button. And if you get anything of value today, click on that thumbs up button at the end of the video. So like I said, I'm gonna do some testing, some comparisons between the Mavic Mini, Mavic Air, and Mavic 2 Pro. And hopefully eventually with my Mavic Pro, now, I was gonna include that in today's testing, uh, but I flew it around yesterday and it decided to have a seizure. It just kind of went off on its own. And it was a little scary, but I did get it back. So anyway, I'm gonna check that out. It's probably an IMU issue or something like that. So hopefully I can add that to these tests. But if you like what you see today and you wanna see more comparisons between these drones, just make sure that you hit that thumbs up button and then comment down below what you'd like to see me compare these drones uh, against each other. So, all right, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start with the Mavic 2 Pro. I'm gonna launch it up. I'm just gonna stand right here. I am 20 feet away. I'm just gonna launch it and go up to about 20 feet. And then I'm just gonna use my little trusty decibel meter here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly out. I'm gonna get some footage, just some random footage uh, with the Mavic 2 Pro. I'll bring it back home. And actually, I won't bring it back home. I'll hit return to home, and then we'll see how accurate that is. And then I'll do that with the Mavic Air, and then I'll do the same thing with the Mavic Mini. Now, when I get the footage, when I get the video footage, I'm not gonna tell you when I show the footage uh, at the end, I'm gonna mix those up so you don't know which drone is recording you know, which of the footage. And then at the very end, I'll reveal which is which. That way you can kind of try to not have some bias, you know, because naturally there's gonna be some bias for the Mavic 2 Pro, because it's obviously gonna have a better image, I think. But let's see how they uh, look without having that bias. And so I'm not gonna tell you what they are. I'll just put A, B, and C up on the screen. And then at the very end, right before the end screen of this video, I'll reveal what, the, what each of them were. So anyway, let's get the Mavic 2 Pro up in the air. Take off. All right, up we go. All right, we're gonna go to 20 feet and then we're gonna turn on our little decibel meter here. There, that works. So it looks like we're at about 54. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna fly around a little bit now and get some footage. And then we'll do the return to home and see how, how well it comes back. All right, I got my footage. Now we are going to hit the return to home. And I'm gonna go ahead and mute this beeping until it gets closer so you guys don't have to listen to it. All right, there you have the Mavic 2 Pro. Perfect return to home, precision landing. It did awesome. Hey, one thing I forgot to mention, you guys, with this footage that I'm about to show you, um, also all the settings are gonna be equal. Um, auto white balance, I don't know if I said that actually, but I'm gonna say it now just in case I didn't. Auto white balance, auto exposure. So I'm not gonna do anything special. I'm not gonna add any, add any color or anything like that. I'm just gonna leave everything set to none. And so I just wanna make sure uh, that you guys understand that when you watch this footage that you're about to see that all the settings are the same 2.7k 30 frames per second using the same micro sd card in them so everything is is as equal as i can get them so all right let's get the mavic air up and uh, see how that does all right next we have the mavic air like i said everything is the same 2.7k 30 frames per second now i'm seeing again i'm getting this image transmission signal is too weak, but I'm standing 20 feet away. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, we're not gonna worry about it for now. Let's go ahead and launch stock propellers on the Mavic Air. I don't have the um, master air screws on there, which make your Mavic Air so much more quiet. Uh, so I'm just using the stock propellers up to 20.
All right, let's check it out. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. About a 62.9 is what I read on there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fly and get some footage now. All right, I'm gonna hit the return to home for the Mavic Air. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and mute the beeping here. All right, so not as good as the Mavic 2 Pro. Not terrible, pretty close, about a foot off. So, all right, let's get the Mavic Mini up. This is what I've been waiting for, I'm sure all of you too, to see how the Mavic Mini stacks up here. So let's get it up in the air. All right, Mavic Mini ready to go. Now, this is only the second time I've flown the Mavic Mini. So um, we'll see how it goes. There we go. Twenty feet. Wow, that really sounds quiet already. I'm getting a little dark here, aren't I? Let's brighten that up a little bit. There we go. All right. Fifty-two nine is what I saw as the highest. I'll put the actual up on the screen here. Also at the very end, I'll put the totals so you guys can see the comparison. But the thing is quiet. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get a little footage. All right, let's hit the return to home. Look at that. It's not as good as the Mavic 2 Pro, but probably the same as the Mavic Air, about a foot off. I noticed that the Mavic Mini definitely takes its time more than the Mavic Air does or the Mavic 2 Pro coming down. Um, it makes corrections the same though. So one thing that I'm gonna tell you right now, I didn't even mean to test this out, but the signal strength on this little drone, this inexpensive, relatively little drone, was better than the Mavic Air. I lost signal a couple of times, just briefly, with the Mavic Air, because I was kind of flying down in that ravine. And the Mavic Mini, not even once. So, very impressive. Probably a test that I'm gonna do in the future. Um, it's a real signal strength test. Now, this is out in the open. You know, some people have done some uh, signal tests among a lot of, you know, traffic, Wi-Fi traffic. And, uh, but this is just out in the open. There's nothing out here. I mean, there's a, cell phone tower so that might have a little effect but um but anyway so quieter the mavic mini signal strength even though that was unintended to test was better than the mavic air uh and then this footage that i'm about to show you i think the colors are going to give it away right away as soon as you see one you're going to go oh yeah i know what that is so uh because i'm not going to color correct anything here this is going to be right out of the camera like I said, no ND filters, 2.7K, 30 frames per second, all from the same type of micro SD card. I'll put that up on the screen here. I use this card for all of my drone footage. Um, what else? Everything else is gonna be equal. So I'm gonna go ahead and show these to you right now, A, B, and C, and then at the very end, I'll just reveal which is which. So let's roll the footage.
Okay, so before I reveal which of the clips go with each of the drones, there's a couple things I want to mention. Now, I just got done flying the Mavic Mini again today. It's the next day, and I wanted to do that because the footage that I got yesterday, the stuff that you just watched, is kind of boring and it's kind of short. So I wanted to see what else I could get with the Mavic Mini. And so I took it out to my favorite spot today, out by that trestle train bridge. I'm sure many of you have seen it and are sick of it, but I like to fly there because it's a good subject. But I got some more footage, and I'm going to show that at the end of this video at the very end. I'm going to do a little bit of editing on that just because I think I can just do a few little tweaks to it and make it look even better. And you're about to see that the Mavic Mini did pretty good in yesterday's footage as well, that stuff that you just watched. So another thing that I want to talk about is the results. Now the landing, the return to home is pretty equal. There's nothing real significant there. They're all within about a foot, so nothing special there. As far as the um, decibels, the Mavic Mini was definitely quieter. I was surprised at how much quieter it was than the Mavic 2 Pro. I knew it was gonna be quiet, but not that quiet. So that was pretty surprising. And I think that's just because it's such a small drone. It doesn't take that much power to keep it up. And so I think that's why it's quieter. But that was a nice surprise. Now, before I give you the final results, I wanna tell you I'm doing a giveaway today. I'm working with a company called LoomCube. Now I've worked with them for a long time. Uh, I've used a lot of their stuff and it's all great stuff. But they're offering a $50 gift card for Black Friday to one of you, one of my subscribers. And so it's pretty simple. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and then comment down below anything that you want but I prefer if you would comment something like this is what I'd like to see in your next Mavic Mini video or this is what I'd like to see in your next video it doesn't even matter if it's Mavic Mini but just comment that and then also put the hashtag lit by loom it's hashtag lit by loom I'm gonna put it right up here on the screen so you know exactly how to type it but about a week after Black Friday I'm gonna draw a name and then I'm gonna send you a code I'm gonna choose one randomly I'm gonna send you a code for $50 off anything the Loom Cube website. Now, the most exciting thing is on Black Friday, Loom Cube is running a 50% off, not everything, I don't think, maybe it is everything, but they're having a huge sale on their stuff. And so I'm gonna put a link down in the description for the website and go ahead and check out their Black Friday deals. Like I said, 50% off. I don't think it's everything, but it might be. So go ahead and check that out. So thanks to Loom Cube. They didn't sponsor this video or anything. They just wanted to offer that $50 gift card to one of you. And one more thing before I tell you the results, I want to say thank you to my Patreons right here. I'll put them up on the screen. These are my newest Patreons. And if you want to learn more about what Patreon is, go ahead and click on this link right here. It's going to pop up. Click on that. And Patreon is just another way to kind of be a special member of the channel of 51 Drones. And for becoming a member, you get some special perks like behind the scenes stuff, personal email replies. Uh, you get a chance to kind of give me an idea of what you'd like to see in the next video and maybe have some extra input as far as what my next videos are going to be. And uh, so it's just a really fun way to communicate on a more personal level. So check that out if you're interested. So as far as the results go, this drone right here, this footage is from the Mavic Air. Now you probably knew that by looking at the saturation on it. The Mavic Air does have a tendency to slightly oversaturate, especially in bright sunny conditions. And so that one was from the Mavic Air. This next one, Drone B, this is from the Mavic Mini. That's right, this footage looks pretty good and it's from the Mavic Mini straight out of the camera and I think with just a few little tweaks, as I'll show you here at the very end of the video, you can make that footage look even better. And then of course this final footage is from the Mavic 2 Pro and you really don't have to do a whole lot to that, it looks great coming right out of the camera. So there's the results, did you guess right? If you didn't, don't worry, I'll be doing some more video comparisons between these drones and like I said, hopefully my Mavic Pro if I can figure out what's wrong with it. It. So if you got anything out of this video, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe and put that hashtag down below if you're interested in winning a $50 gift card towards LoomCube. Thanks again to LoomCube for doing that. I want to thank you for watching the video today. Have a great day and as always, fly safe and fly smart.